Hello, gamers. <laughs> Am I gonna sound like that music? Hold on. Hold on. It, it, do I sound okay? What the fuck? I don't know why the audio sounds like that. I don't know why it sounded like that. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah, I think I certainly captured the essence of despair. Do I sound alright to you guys? The, the, the music understood the assignment, but I'm so sorry that was so loud. Jesus. I do apologize, loves. Okay, but now the real question is, if I switch to the game audio, is that gonna be fucky-wucky? But hello, everybody! How, uh, how are we doing on this fine, uh, looks at the day, Monday? We're playing a little bit of Danganronpa, and I'm scared because if you don't remember, last time we ended off on a murder, and we're about to go into the, uh, class trial, and if you weren't there for when we did the first class trial, I was flopping with this new stuff. I was flopping, for real. Yo, what up? Welcome in, sub. Oh my god, so yeah, I'm I'm a little, um, nervous, but I'm hoping with the power of hope we can pull through. <laughs> let me switch you guys to the gamer screen, and, oh god, let me give you desktop audio and hope, and hope for the best. Here, let me, eh. If not, I'm gonna have to work overtime on this voice acting, trust. Okay, let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, I think it sounds normal. I'm watching on my phone. And it seemed like it was fine. I don't know, but I guess Spotify was hating my ass. Which, like, fair enough, but, like, get in line. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some, uh, some, some editing in lo-fi at the beginning so I don't just, uh, destroy y'all's ears. Alright. Let me... Ooh. Hold on. Sorry, I gotta fix my tab. Okay. Let us, um, continue once my controller decides to reconnect. Here we go. Um, okay. <laughs> Okay, we're going over... Before we do that, let me see... What is that under? I think it's this. Report card? Okay, we have five. What can we get? See, I don't like this because I don't like having to choose. I preferred when we... When we got to just, uh... <laughs> talk to people and they give us stuff and we have no choice. I preferred that. What does this do? Sharpness increases by two. Should I get this? I feel like I need help. Is there is there ones that are for uh? Mm, oh God. <laughs> Let's see this. Okay. Now we need to go to uh the. Monokuma Rock. What chapter is this again? This is chapter two. Yeah, we're on chapter two. We're about to go into that trial. And again, we're no spoilers. I've played the game before, but this is the first time some people have seen it. So I want to do things as they come. Oh yeah, I forgot. You just found a yo bestie. Die. Oh, that's crazy. L. 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 Chat enable me. Do I spend forty dollars on the Sims? I'm not having a discussion. I, I, I'm not having this discussion. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna do something crazy to me. I'll be ruined. Who are you talking about? Why you? Hey, shut up. 
Oh god, what was my Monokuma voice? Hey, shut up and stay put, you stubborn little Lolita! Ah, yo, Monokuma! Stop it! Hey, stop harassing little girls! This is what's going on? Um... Sheesh! Yoko is trying to run away, so Monokuma brought her here by force. This Sims is timeless, oh my gosh. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Eh. Okay. But Hiyoko is still trying to run away, so Monokuma's trying to wrap her in a full Nelson. Damn it! Hey! God, why can't I remember how I did my Monoku Monokuma voice? Hey, if you don't stay put, I'm gonna make you part of this island's food chain. <laughs> Unbelievable. Jeez, making me waste my sweet-ass time. But, there's another problem to deal with besides this one. Pum, pum. Where the heck is Fuyuhiko? What do you mean you don't know where he is? We've got taste in the chat today. <laughs> well, what, what is the $40 that you're gonna, like, what are you spending it on? I'm assuming packs, but... Which ones? Yeah. That guy! He totally ditched! He totally ditched my appointment! How strange. He pisses me off! Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what? Oh, the Buff Monokuma, help! We just started the stream! Eight kits, I have everything else. I mean, fair enough. I mean, if you have the 40. He? His anchor changed his form! Oh. <laughs> I'm right here. Hmm? Uh-huh. Fuyuhiko, ah. ah. you came. I was worried about you. <laughs> There's nowhere for me to run anyway. So no matter the ending, I have to accept it, right? But still... Bastard! I'm a Yakuza! Accepting defeat is not an option. Fuyuhiko, what does that mean? Hmm. Well, it's all good. If the trial heats up, it's all good. What? What? Anyway... Anyway, looks like everyone's here, so let us depart now. See ya later! I literally forgot this sprite even existed. Like, I literally have no memory of this happening. Um... I'll go and be one step ahead of you guys. This is bad. Crap! I'm not mentally prepared yet, girl. Me? Too. Like, do you even have to prepare? Show some spirit! If you don't have enough power, harness your latent energy. Come on, bring out that energy! This, too, must be the will of, of causality. causality. So it begins. The beginning of the end. You know, guys, I bet you Gundam would love Call to the Lamb. I think he would eat that game up. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> mm, oh, God. I forgot Kamida, uh existed in this game. I'm not going to lie. Is that supposed to be a Berserk ref? I have no clue. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. And now then, let's keep our shining sp Sorry, shining? I just like to add words sometimes. Let's keep our spirits high. So we- I hate, I hate him. Why, like, why does he speak? Uh, so we can one day find that shining hope. Okay, bestie. You know that, um, that audio where it's like, Oh, wow, you guys are so cute together. And then the other one's like, Oh, no, we, we just friends. And the other person's like, Ew! No, he's like my brother. He's so ugly. He's so ugly. Why does he walk this earth with me? <laughs> That's literally Hajime and Komaida. 
He's so ugly. Anyways. <laughs> okay, let's go back. That's right. I can only... Moving forward is the only option. Um, where are my bookie bears? There they are. I only want to talk to... No, okay, I'll talk to everybody. <laughs> I'm not mentally prepared yet. Like, I didn't think I'll ever be. But we can't just stand around all day. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. My poopy bears. <laughs> I'm a Yakuza. I won't run or hide. Hey, hey! Could he be the type to awaken hidden powers when he gets angry? He's a stuffed animal, right? Nekumaru. If you don't unleash your power here, where else are you going to unleash it? Do, don't you want to avenge Mahiru's death? Akane? Ugh. This class trial stuff again. So this time we gotta figure out who killed Mahiru, huh? I don't get complicated stuff, so I'll leave this to you guys. Like, bro, do some work! For folks' sake. Chiaki. Cause it's bad. Let's go. We can't forgive the killer. Listen! The truth behind Mahiru's death, sparkling justice may hold the key. No, that just has to be it. Then... Let's go. There's no reason for us to waste time here. <laughs> what are you dilly-dallying for? Come on, let's hurry up and go. Together, you should be able to stand against any despair. Alrighties! I will definitely help you out. Gundam Tanaka. <laughs> you should be honored. It's nearly showtime! A mere human such as yourself will be present to witness the beginning of the end. Now, and now what do you mean by that? I guess that's everybody, so... Monokuma Rock? Roar! Sorry. I don't know, I for some reason was waiting for more. You're so evil! Eee! No, how many, no matter how many times I see it, it's such bad taste! The worst, the lowest, most br brutal taste. Brutal. Brutal. Somehow I moved my muscles, stiff from fear and nerves, and awkwardly walked in onto the escalator. For some reason, my breathing was short, and I was eventually struck by a feeling similar to dizziness. The moment all of us were inside Monokuma Rock... A rumbling sound filled the room, and the surrounding space began to fall. <laughs> look at us! Look at us! Here, should I should I stand? Should I stand in the elevator again? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go.
We'll stand right here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here we go. Alright. We're in here. We're in here. As it shook with a clatter, the elevator we were inside continued to drop. Throughout that drop, I was fluctuating between feeling hope and despair. As if my heart was a rotten fruit, swelling in the sun before it finally goes squish, I suddenly stopped breathing. My consciousness began to fade from the pressure. I tried to endure that pressure by firmly standing on my legs. And after a while, the elevator's vibrations gradually weakened. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're here. We're here at the class trial, all of us. <laughs> Hold on. Shut up, Monokuma. Sorry, we gotta, we gotta go back to where we were. <laughs> Gotta dance across the screen, don't mind me. There we go. Alright. Why is it so funny seeing you narrate from the elevator? Just imagine that I'm like... <laughs> I'm reading, I'm saying all this out loud and my classmates are like, what the fuck? <laughs> imagine they used anguish instead of despair. It'd be a little funny. <laughs> Defeat the boring routine. So, so I decided to start redecorating. How does it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? Impossible! It's not like I'd allow you to think otherwise, anyways. That is, to go to the trouble of doing something this elaborate. Really, what is your true intention? No, no. Nothing, really. Essentially, the killing game is just to kill time anyway. You... Kill time? Yeah! To break away from my purpose. That alone is my purpose. Like... A purpose is only gonna be a weakness. Those ha Those who have purpose always... Are always the weakest ones in the bunch of... Girl, you gotta, you gotta wrap this up. I can't read today, I need them to read for me. And that's why you guys should forget about such cheap-ass purposes like trying to survive. <laughs> and enjoy the class trial from the bottom of your hearts. It's starting. The class trial is starting, girl. Hajime, you're making me nervous. Mahiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. Most importantly, she was always straightforward. The person that killed her. Ooh, these. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but... Regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Because it's the only way. Aside from finding out who the killer is, there is no other way for us to survive. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. I would love to save. Thank you. Another one, thank you. Set skills. I guess we can look at our um, truth bullets. <laughs> I think either Genocide Jack or Terror Terror did it real. Okay, we have the victim is Mahiru, estimated time of death is three. Seen the crime where the body was discovered inside the beach house. 
Cause of death, single blow to the head with one object, no other injuries or drugs. A blood stain from the floor has streaks leading to the roadside door as if Mahiru had crawled through it. Footprints uh, were found in the house. They are Hyoko's. A metal bat was found at the crime scene. Uh, there was also one used in Twilight Center murder case. There was a bunch of empty water bottles in the trash. There was a mask. There was a gummy in the closet. Uh, you cannot use the shower. It's got a high ass window, but you can get out of it if you got up there. There's a tipped over fish tank in the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Game, gravel and water scattered everywhere. Broken window. You can't leave the music room without passing through the entrance hall. Girl E had her swimsuit stolen. There's the ending prize that had all the pictures in it. Here's some of the pictures. Hyoko likes these food gummies. There was this note from Hyoko. Mahiru received a blow to the head and died. <laughs> okay, that's it. Those are all of our clues. Um, before, actually, before we go in there, how's my pookie wookie? Hey, it's all right. Chin up, king. Oh god, okay, here we go. Are you ready? You could say that. You could say that. All right. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person... I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh, no matter how many times I hear it, it's such a cruel rule. Now then, let's first discuss the motive. That masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case! What? Who cares about that game? The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all, that game is the motive this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. <laughs> Bro's Gundam voice is way too deep for high school. I mean, listen, there's like high schools out there that are like fucking 6'4", so I feel like anything's possible. <laughs> If you have good genetics. It means Twilight Syndrome Murder Case is a non-fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game too. Some of us are characters in a video game? So... I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. Uh, the characters in the game were Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, Girl D, Girl E, and Boy F. And the high school girl who got killed at the beginning... By using the staff role after clearing the game as a reference, I should be able to figure out who's who. The first character the player was able to control was Girl A. The true identity of Girl A is probably Mikan. I see! Girl A is probably Mikan Sumiki. Sumiki? Su Sumiki? Why the fuck? Is it not Sumiki? Who's wrong here? Is it me or him? Is it me or him? I don't know. 
I I always said it Mikan Sumiki. That timid tone. That definitely sounds like girl A. Based on the list of names in the staff roll, I can't think of anyone else who would be girl A. Trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights. Ah, a nasty trashy pig shit. I feel like I heard that in the game too. Huh? She's right. The one who said that was Girl B. I see! Girl B was short and foul mouthed. She's probably Hiyoko. Short and foul mouthed? That's like the complete opposite of me! Anyway, let's move on. Next is Girl C. Uh, Girl C. I think that was a boogie. Girl C, huh? Her personality was hyper energetic and unique. Yeah, that's a boobie. I see! He's really reading them, I know, right? Girl C is Ibuki. <laughs> he pronounced it weird? Okay. I was like, erm. Um. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. She's so based, you guys. <laughs> Chiaki's like... Anyways. <laughs> Let's move on to Girl D. <laughs> she really did, she really did, uh, don't know all her ass. Girl D, huh? There's only one person who always had a camera with them. Mahiru. I see! Girl D is Mahiru. The victim in this case. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip Girl E and talk about Guy F. Guy F is my baby girl. I see! Aren't you Guy F, Fuyuhiko? I was in a game? That's fucking stupid. Uh, that reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyota, Sato, Kuzuryu, and then another Kuzuryu. Wait, how did how did he say Sumika? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Go by to say it again. Hold on. Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryus? It's not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? The reason Fuyuhiko's last name, Kuzuryu, appears twice. It's true I have a hunch, but... The way it should be pronounced? Okay, I, yeah, I wasn't... Johnny Youngboss, you bitch. <laughs> Poor mod of me just hanging around by a rope, I know. No, but yeah. Also, the thing is, right? I'm used to, um... The... I, I don't know, I guess, like, kind of like the Japanese spelling. Because... In both Soda, there's a U after the O, and then in Kuzuryu, there's an extra U at the end. And I'm so used to seeing them like that, to seeing them without it throws me off. It's like um, in Persona 4, people spell one of the uh, protagonist, protagonist's names is Soji, which I don't like. I like U better. That's why I use it in my playthrough. But most people spell it S O U. J-I, but when I'm reading my manga that I have on my shelf, they're spelling it S-O-J-I, and I don't like it. I just don't like it. To call me out like that, Nagito, you're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. Um, on the contrary, I'm gonna beat his ass. The reason Fuyuhiko's last name, Kuzuryu, appears twice is probably because 
He had a little sister. I can prove it with this. In the <laughs> Again, game, I was Guy right. F, it was him. I'm a Ryu genius. <laughs> mentions that he has a little sister. <laughs> hmm? What do you mean, little sister? This is what Guy F said in the game. It's pretty clear. There's no doubt that Guy F had a little sister. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuryu appeared twice. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuryu, play? You probably noticed, right? Why are you asking me all these questions? Like, can't I live my life? Huh? Can I not live my life without you? being up my ass huh guy smh my head for real for real okay continue i guess <laughs> i don't really want to say it myself but i need to move the conversation forward the only character in the game i could see being fuyuhiko's little sister is the high school girl who died at the beginning I see. The dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game is the only person I can think of. Sometimes you will spell Bakugo Bakugo because the O is more of a ooh sound. Fair enough. That bitch. What the hell did she do to my little sister? Based on Guy F's tone in the game. It's clear that girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you've got there. Winning personality? Are you praising me? Hey, sit down. Sit down. I was being sarcastic, dumbass. Dumbass. Hey, you said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Uh, <laughs> oopsies. Yeah, I have a little sister. Had. <laughs> Br brush his hair behind ear, had. <laughs> Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. It's not just a game. It's definitely based on true events. That's why it's the motive. Don't go making shit up, bastard! If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. I mean, when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me as usual and sent me off. It, it happened just the other day. You're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! Get his ass, I guess. I see. So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Nagito. You seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? Listen, not my Pookie Wookie Bear. He would never do that. So the fact that you're even mm, suggesting that is a little crazy to me. A mystery that easy would make me feel sad. It wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. A stepping stone for hope. That's why. I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Okay. Okay, you're starting to act weird again. <laughs> Twins. Baby gangster, kill someone? Nah. <laughs> anyway, look at him with his hands now in his we've pockets. established who all the characters cool in guy. the game are. Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. 
I wish this game was like Somnium Files, where there was a button where I could just have it autoplay for me. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Could it be? The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. <laughs> Gundam's like, uh, <laughs> excuse me. What the heck is that wild connection? Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. And he also had a strange rivalry going on. Hey, no one cares about that. Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game. Huh? What do you mean, mystery of the game? Mr. Wee? My, my, you don't know. I heard Yo. that girl E got killed. What? No way. Is that true? Do you guys do you guys think that's true? That Monokuma just go out go out here and you know tell lies? <laughs> Surely not. Sorry, the music Getting is so killed good. is so violent, don't you know? My, such awful times we live in. Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends. I don't know if it's because, listen, the wide stance he has making him look short as fuck next to Peko. So the and mystery me. of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it. Let's first figure out why girl E was killed. Stray shots, for real. Girl E was killed on the fourth day in the Twilight's main storyline. I was able to find out why she was killed by playing the secret storyline, which means it has something to do with the first high school uh, girl's murder, uh, because Girl E was the killer. I see! The reason Girl E was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. Period. Which means Girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently Girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But... But it is it is that true? Girl E, she, she killed the first victim. Bro, sweating like my sister, my sister. In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. But before we do that, I'm gonna need to do the world the world's quickest BRB. Not actually the world's quickest, but do a real quick BRB. So um. Sit there and let me get your lo-fi beats on. Let me get your lo-fi beats. Here you go. Here you go. Be I'll be right back. Does it sound okay? I just realized I, I never even thought to check. Like maybe <laughs> before I leave you with the lo-fi beats, let me make sure the lo-fi beats are working. Because if it's just like again, it's gonna be rough for everybody here. Okay, let me hear it. Okay, I think it's I think it's normal. Okay, I think it's normal. All right, beer be you guys.
Shut up, Lo-Fi Beats. We don't care about you. We want a game. We want a game. Alright, sorry. Sorry, y'all. We're back. We're back. Okay, we're, what are we talking about? How about I tab in the game? That'd be that would be kind of epic. What are we talking about, Nagito? It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Oh, okay, try hard. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I love you, Chiaki. Look, I made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. Okay. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. We get it! Let's talk about that later so we can focus on the case! <laughs> oh, Nakito jump scare at me every time I see his ass. Then, I'll start explaining. Yeah, be nice to her. Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, and Girl D were at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. Immediately, they climbed the stairs to the second floor and headed to where they heard that sound. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, and she confirmed that the sound came from in there. But the door to the music room was locked. So Girl D went to get the key from the office, and when the five of them were finally able to go inside, mm -hmm. they found the victim's body, dead from a blow to the head. Because the music room's window was broken, the girls thought the killer escaped through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? Um, yeah, yeah sounds, sounds good to me. Yep, an understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. Shut the fuck up. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? Obviously. Girl E was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. I keep thinking she's Sonya instead of Kuzuryu. Which means Girlie was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. Listen, you could you could tell it's not Sonya because the hair is more yellow, and also she's got that classic Kuzuryu uh, cutesy cheeks. But Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? By the way. Since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girl E broke the window and escaped, and sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then, forget this! Me, me after giving like two solutions and I'm like, all right, I'm done. I'm done now. It's not cute to see an old guy sulk. I just love him a lot. Hey, is girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet. Based on the details of the game, it's no mistake that girl E who was waiting in the hallway is the killer. But then, what did Girl E do after killing the girl inside the music room? I guess I need to clear that up first. Um, I would say, uh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke oh God, the window my in the music room like, connected. and escaped outside. So how did Girl E get from outside the school to the front of the music room? Um... To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Okay. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. 
At the entrance hall, the girls... Uh-huh. Heard the sound of the window shattering. Yeah, but it actually wasn't the window shattering. It was the No, that's base. wrong! No, that's wrong! First of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. If it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? A vase. Vase? How low can you go? After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Probably. Actually, Probably. the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. Girl E killed the victim in the music room, broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room. Listen, like, look how good he can be when he applies himself and isn't it being a fucking freak. All she had oh. to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. You know what? You know what I just realized? This is for Ken specifically. But tell me, tell me, Komaida and Saito from Somnium. They're 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 basically they're almost on the same level. Like they're almost on the same level. They're giving me the same energy though. And notice how they have the same hair color too. I'm just saying. I'm just saying they they almost basically have the same hair color. And I'm just saying they almost have the same eye color too. I'm just saying. To make them think the murder had just occurred and that the killer had just escaped. So when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. The fucking Kazuichi on the side, you just see his tongue. Uh, I see. Now the mystery has been solved. Ken, are you looking inwards on this? Right? That's why I enjoy them both. Oh my god. You're a freak lover. You're a freak lover. Wait a minute. The I'm getting a, I'm getting hate mail on my yet. DMs as, you as I speak. You haven't determined what the murder weapon was yet. Murder weapon? Who cares about the murder weapon? We found out who the killer was. Not cool. I went to all the trouble of making this death march, so you gotta stick with it to the end. What the heck? You're so annoying! <laughs> Fine. Let's figure out the weapon. If this keeps up, I'm gonna feel like I need to shit. Which means I'll feel disgusting! You're the disgusting one! <laughs> the weapon You're is the pretty unconventional! The answer was revealed in the game, though. Now then, will you guys be able to figure it out? Yeah, because I'm better. I'm better than the rest, bro. An unconventional weapon that also appeared in the game. If we were told we can't advance as long as we don't make that clear, then I have to do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Love Monokuma, seriously, best boy. He's a fucking... He's so silly. He's just so silly. It's so good. It's so good. Not he is so good. He's actually... Uh, the the worst <laughs> in, in the game anyways hmm? what do you think the weapon is i have no idea was i out of line just now and uh, now then there's something i need to tell you regarding the white noise in the non-stop debates some lines of white noise are actually very durable you won't always destroy them in one shot durable white noise will chip away every time you shoot them with a silencer but unless you completely destroy them, your time limit will not be replenished. By the way, if your difficult if your difficulty is set to gentle, white noise won't appear at. Uh, you get the gist, right? It appears the debate is getting tougher, so I've obtained some very useful information. I heard there's a guy named Gun something. Uh, apparently, he has a skill that can increase the power of the silencer. Gun something. I wonder who it was. Was I out of line just now? Well then, good luck and have fun. GGHF. Damn, bro. Why is there so many? 
A weapon inside the music room, huh? Escape through stones. What about broken glass? Hi. That's Isn't my the cause bear. of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. Um. That's too big to be a weapon. I was say, I don't think it necessarily happened like that. Then the piano. No. No. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. I just think they're the silly. It's on that big a scale too. How about beating her with gravel instead? Wait, wait, oh wait, the gravel's in the swimsuit, right? I agree with that. I agree with that. <laughs> Guys, I got it. The killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. Guys, is this a safe space? Is this a safe space, you guys, for me? I just can't stop being delusional, you know? My goodness. I got it right. And I was just throwing things out there. Wow, your brain's so massive, Ibuki. You know what I really want to be able to do? Sorry, this is not related at all. But I really want to find a way to have, like, a text-to-speech option, but using channel points... I think it, it could be funny, but if y'all misbehave with it too much, I'll take it away, so don't play with me. Don't play with me. <laughs> Just as I thought! I'm chosen by the gods! But if anybody knows a way, and I don't have to do research, let me know. <laughs> You're not chosen at all, and gravel is impossible! It's too small to be a weapon. <laughs> Guys, if I could just cry and, sh and shit and scream on stream I would because that's that's how I feel every time I see Kazuichi I'm just delusional I can't help it what if the gravel was put inside some sort of bag a bag what kind of bag I'd be so funny I'm a comedian I know like I, f I feel like y'all would be funny I feel like y'all would be funny but I don't know how I don't know how to set that up or if that is a thing so, if anybody knows. <laughs> if the weapon is something that appeared in the game, then so is the back. Channel points are limited, so it should regulate itself. Yeah. I'm not sure how much how much do you think it was it, it should cost? Cause I don't want it to make it too low that like random people could just like spam stupid shit. But I also don't want it to be super expensive. And the only thing I can think of is the school swimsuit. Because obviously I want people to use it. If you tie the swimsuit like a bag and stuff it full of gravel, it'd make an effective weapon. See, when I when I was picturing it in the swimsuit, that is not how I was picturing it. I'm imagining like you put all the the gravel like where like I I guess your stomach would sit, and then you just grab it by either end and like tie it that way. So it's like everything's in one end. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? 500, I usually see. Yeah, I was thinking 500. I feel like that's pretty good. Gravel inside the swimsuit? Even the ace attorney would be astonished by such a fantastic idea! Hello. But for the killer, it's an idea that kills two birds with one stone. Guys, if you were in Danganronpa... No, not if you were in Danganronpa. If you are making a Danganronpa OC... If you were making your own original character, what would their talent be and why? To make people think the killer is some pervert, it makes sense for a school swimsuit to be stolen. And if that swimsuit was used to make an improvised weapon, it'd have to be disposed of later. How about it, Monokuma? Are you satisfied now? Are you satisfied now, Monokuma? All I can hear is fucking Adachi, bro. This happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved! Only producers know this feeling of ecstasy. <laughs> I, the, my love-hate relationship with Monokuma is so strong. But the real important talk begins now. <laughs> Ultimate Dangarumpa Lurker. I have to come back to you on that one. Fair enough. Girl E had someone who can be called an accomplice. That person was actually Girl D. Ultimate procrastinator keeps putting off murdering someone. Girl D, you're talking about Mahiru, right? Listen, I, you know, I, I want to see, I want to see like 
ultimate fisherman. I want to see uh, what else. What else? What's another good one? Hmm. I don't know more sport sport ones. They don't. I feel like they don't really do anything huh? with them. Mahiro is the accomplice. What is this? What does that mean? Maybe like ultimate linguist. Ultimate. The piece of face that became an important clue in the music room translator. Murder. Earl D got rid of it. They're just talking, and I'm like, ah, la, la, la. And not paying a apparently damn the reason attention. Girl E committed murder in the first place was, <laughs> was to protect Girl D. I'm so glad that this is not my first time playing this. Or Girl else I'd D be lost. was being harassed by the victim. Girl E found out and tried to stop it. And they ended up getting into an argument. Oh, no. And she felt a rush of anger and ended up killing her. Like, do y'all think that you could be pushed so much that you could just kill somebody? Speaking of the microphone, your FBI agent is listening. Um, no, because like that's crazy that she was she got so mad by what was happening that she was like, "You you are now die." But she should have had a clear murder. Like, girl, intent. go to this. Go to I mean, your teacher. She choked her out and then bludgeoned her to death. So this is a crazy Yuri situation then, help, help me. She probably made her unconscious by accident. And from there, she couldn't go back. I, I, I somewhat understand that feeling. You can? That's pretty scary. The girl E was also killed by someone on the fourth day or the game's last day. I didn't know th these three were together. Like, I didn't know that Nagito was right next to Mikan. <laughs> I might as well ask just in case. Who do you think killed Girl E? Me. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Girl E's killer. Right now, the only person I can I can think of is that guy. The guy who felt such a blind rage to towards Girl E. Oh, I see. Guy F. It should have been Guy F. But it's not. That bitch. What the? I will never forgive her. A scenario where Guy F murders Girl E out of a burning, hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister. Back to the TTS thing. Um, that's why I like to have a lot of sound ones because that's how you guys talk without actually being able to talk. But, but Guy F is. What? <laughs> It's just a story in a video game, isn't it? That's all you can say. If that game is telling the truth, it'd be a huge problem for you. Hey, clear this up for me. Those of you who appeared as characters in the game, do you remember this incident? Of course we don't. What are you talking about? Th that is, I'm terribly sorry, but... They don't remember! That's obvious! Cause their school memories were like totally, totally stolen. stolen! Even if I don't remember, I already know! It's obvious that guy is the killer! Look at her man hand pointing at me. No one would kill a nice person like Mahiru besides a piece of shit menace to society like Fuyuhiko! I like I hate this bitch so much! Oh, ah! oh my god, I hate her! Oh, it's just like I'm seeing Iris all over Girl again. Girl E and Mahiru were killed by that guy! Don't- First of all, don't you ever accuse my pokey bear, Fuyuhiko, of doing any wrongdoings. I- I support his rights and his wrongs. <laughs> you sure do talk a lot of shit. Well, I'm used to it by now. <laughs> now he's pouting. He's pouting and he's kicking his, sh his sh foot in the dirt. <laughs> Everyone knows games are real, dude. Yoko's man hand versus Tokofukawa's hand. Who would win? <laughs> but does Mahiru's murder have anything to Her do with tiny the game? Ass hands. Perhaps the two are unrelated. No, that game and Mahiru's death are probably related to one another. 
In actuality, there's a sp I didn't even get to read that. Um, um, excuse me, excuse me, what the heck? No! I no! can prove it with this. I'm not sure the two events are unrelated. At the very least, the killer has definitely played the game. Wait, did I actually just pick the right thing? <laughs> did I just actually pick the right thing? <laughs> oh my god. I literally had no- I didn't even get to finish reading what the question was. And then I didn't even mean to present that. Oh my god. That's amazing. Oh my god, I, I didn't proof, take an L. <laughs> Mahiru, who was killed in the beach house. And girl oh god, E, who was killed on? in the game, were both killed by a blow to the head with a metal bat. This is true. There's no way we can ignore that connection. Someone must have wanted to split her head open the exact same way they avenged the first victim. I hate how she says her S's. It's so, like, sharp. Like, I don't know. Hey, why don't you confess already? You're the one who killed Mahiru, right? Why don't you confess already? That's what it sounds like. You, you better cut that out right now. There is no way a stupid game could be the motive! You're dumb enough to believe that stupid game and that's why you killed her as revenge! If you keep making up your mind like that, we're just going to go around in circles. And... It's true, Fuyuhiko may look suspicious, but don't you think that'd be too obvious? What... What are you... I mean... There's a possibility that it's a trap set by the true killer. T trap What do you mean? The true killer played that game, and most likely found out about the relationships between the characters. That person could be using that knowledge to try to set up Fuyuhiko. Are you saying that a completely different killer murdered Mahiru, and used the game motive as their cover? Isn't that what happened, Hiyoko? Oh. Huh? Don't you understand? I'm saying you might be the true killer. <laughs> what is this? Like, I can only laugh. What are you even saying, you nasty toilet clogging bitch? I feel like doing, her, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like doing her voice lines would be fun. To just say shit like that. And you get paid for it. You four-eyed troll! Accusing me of killing Mahiru? <laughs> You're so mean! Why do you doubt Hyoko? Like, I would kick her if I could. Do you know where Hyoko was today? I would punt her like a fucking football. She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. Mm-hmm. But I didn't go to the beach house! Liar. Try again. No, that's wrong! Wait a minute. You should have been at the beach house, Hiyoko. Seriously, I told you I didn't! But these footprints in the sand in front of the beach house, aren't they yours? I don't have such ugly footprints. They're probably Mikans based on how ugly they are. Don't decide that based on ugliness. Huh. They're not Hiyoko's footprints? That's strange. The footprint I collected from your room matches these footprints perfectly. He's such a freak. C collected? I never gave you permission to collect that, you nasty pedo! Uh, but... <laughs> Plus, the footprints left in the sand were facing away from the beach house. <laughs> oh my goodness. Me. Which means, when the owner of these footprints went inside the beach house, they used a different entrance. A different entrance? Are you talking about the door facing the road that Mahiru's body was leaning against? Are you saying, when that person went inside the beach house, the body hadn't appeared yet? The door was still accessible when they went in, and wasn't when they left. Which means something happened in between those two events. Isn't that right, Hyoko? Ah! Oh, I remember!
remember now. I remember when I went to the beach house. A word? Hmm. So you finally decided to confess. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but going for walks in the morning is my daily routine. I've never heard of that daily routine before. And that's when I went to the beach house. I went there on my morning walk. Yeah, I think we all know that's a dead lie. I see. If you went there during your morning walk, that doesn't have anything to do with the case at all. Um... Don't believe her so easily, dumbass! She's obviously lying! Yeah, she's lying. She's lying. Huh? It's a lie? Oh my god, I hate this bitch. I hate her! Do something! Like... People who call other people liars are usually liars themselves! If you say I'm lying, prove it! Can you even prove that I'm lying? Am I gonna have to fight you? Because I really don't want to. <laughs> There's no way a bunch of worthless idiots like you guys would be able to do that! Make your argument. Letter, footprints. Zero. I did go to the Metal beach map. house. We use these two already. But only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other oh, time. I think it was that. Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru. Because her letter says at the just beach house. Later. <laughs> Obviously not. Saying I met up with her with is this a panel of idiots? I did go to the beach house, but only during my morning walk. No. No, that's wrong. Akane is like Aoi. Yeah, but I feel like even I even only during your morning walk. Hina huh? had like. Will you still claim that after you take a look at this letter? I feel like Hina still had like her moments, and I kind of liked her just better, personality-wise. They're very similar, though. I will say. But I feel like Hina just did it better. Because, like, yeah, she was kind of stupid, but, like, she had her moments. Meanwhile, I don't think Akane has done anything helpful this entire time. Oh, sorry, I didn't read it. Uh, it seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay? Is it okay if we change time, please? I want you to come to the beach house. Two thirty. There's someone. Uh, let's let's keep it secret. He okay? But that letter. It's the one Mahiro had, right? Yup, yup. I see. So Hiyoko was able to arrange a meeting with Mahiru by exchanging letters with her. Well, what is that letter? I'm serious. I don't know. Oh snap! I remember now. I totally saw you! Huh? Me and Hajime met up at the diner around 3 p.m. to go to the beach. Kicking my feet, giggling, twirling my hair. I saw you about 30 minutes later, so it should have been around 3.30 p.m. I see. So if she met Mahiru at 2.30 p.m., killed her, then ran away afterward, I think 3.30 p.m. is a reasonable time for you to have witnessed, Hiyoko. You're wrong! You're totally wrong! Now that you mention it, you also passed by the diner Fuyuhiko. So you should have seen Hiyoko too, right? No, I didn't. It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I wasn't even paying attention to the beach house. I went straight back to my cottage after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. I love that CG so much. The coloring is so good. Did they actually do good this time? <laughs> Yo, hello, Angel. It's me. For some reason, that sounds suspicious, too. It's the truth. Just leave him alone. It'd be a waste of time to question him any further. Anyway, that letter in Kazuichi's testimony says it all. You were meeting up with Mahiru at the beach house. Seriously? I don't know! I didn't even write that letter! I, I'm telling the truth! I really, really don't know! <laughs> Is she really crying? Or 
is she faking it? She's probably faking it. We can assume she summoned Mahiru with the intention of killing her all along. <laughs> they did for once, yep. I'm surprised. They don't usually get wins. Is you. I'm busy, so take my love and support, and I'm gone. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you. That's why she wrote a Till letter to let her know where to meet, so the others wouldn't find out. And then you went ahead to the beach house, hid yourself in a specific place, and waited for Mahiru. And if I did? There's evidence for that, too. Hmm. The only place I can think of where Hyoko was hiding is probably that place, right? A specific item was found there that would lead us to assume Hyoko was waiting there. In the closet. Oh, <laughs> appreciate you. The place more. where Hyoko was hiding. <laughs> Are you talking about the closet? Yes, that's right. The gummy candy we found on the floor is the evidence. Hyoko. Your favorite candy is gummies, correct? What's a gummy? I've never eaten something like that before. That'd be so for real, bestie. <laughs> I have captured the true character of this mystery. Hyoko, who summoned Mahiru to the beach house, hid inside the closet like a familiar. He said, Harry Potter head ass. What are you doing in there? <laughs> no, no, seriously. When she saw her chance, she attacked her like an evil spirit and left oh. the beach house like a swift wind. A swift wind, okay. Dear Mahiru, please meet me at the beach so I can kill you, heart. <laughs> Actually, bro, did you see the letter? That's exactly what it said. She 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 wrote that. But Hiyoko miscalculated that Mahiru's body would be blocking the door at that time. Um. Um. Where is it? What am I doing? What am I? I was trying to look for something, but I, I, don't remember what I was gonna look for. Um. Okay, never mind. Because of that. She was only able to leave from the beach side door and ended up leaving her footprints. It happens to the best of us. You know, you can't blame her. No, I'm kidding. You can't blame her. I fucking hate that bitch. <laughs> we have presented the proof. My four dark devas of destruction didn't even need to come out. It's a trap. This is obviously someone's trap. Okay. Who's someone? Whose trap is it? It must be that one person, you know, the one with the mask, maybe? That's what the mask is. The one with the mask? There was a suspicious mask at the beach house, right? Oh, I remember. Whoever was wearing that could be the real killer. Um, period. I mean, like, they could. You're the one who wore that mask and killed Mahiru, right? Yeah, you killed Mahiru. Oh. There's no way I'd wear such a childish mask. Is your brain fried or something? That is right. It cannot be Hyoko. That, huh? Oh. Sparkling what Sorry, now? sorry, Bessie. Sparkling justice. Sparkling justice. Can I replay that? That is right. It cannot be Hyoko. That mask belongs to sparkling justice. <laughs> there you go. <gasps> There's your, that there's mask your voice says line. it all. Sparkling justice is hiding on this island. Which means the legendary serial killer Sparkling Justice is the one who killed Mahiru. Why you? If you continue to say such foolish things, I shall tear you limb from limb. Don't blame Miss Sonia. It's just a difference between cultures. A uh, culture shock, you know? I see. So Dream killed Mahiru. Can somebody please make it where it's it's Mahiru's dead body and but instead of the sparkling justice uh fucking mask or whatever it's called, it's just Dream's mask on the floor right next to her. That would be so fucking funny. Oh my god. Yoko, why don't you just admit it already? 
You're being unreasonably stubborn. It's all in your heads. Oh, why can't you understand? I'm not the killer. Listen, I don't know. Uh, you could be. You could be. It's true that Hyoko is suspicious, but there's something strange. Something doesn't make sense. I can't help but feel like we're being directed by someone. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got gummy bag, footprints, yellow gummy. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! Uh, I'm Why? telling you, it's a trap! There's no doubt! You went to the beach house, right? You went to the beach? Each? Uh, um, that is... Nikki and weren't you also hiding in the closet? Aren't you? So that's when you dropped the gummy! This. No, that's wrong! No, that's wrong. About that gummy, did Hyoko really drop it? Did she? Well, you know the only one childish enough to eat gummies is that midget over there. Jesus! You're a midget too, you know. You're the one who worries about never getting taller. That's crazy. She really, like, threw him under the bus like that. Like... The girls are wilding. It's true Hyoko likes to eat gummies, but she only eats a specific brand. Yeah, and I don't think they have that flavor. The brand of gummies you eat only have strawberry, melon, grape, and orange flavors, right? Yeah, and that was like a yellow one. Huh? But what about the lemon flavor? The, the gummy at the crime scene? Huh? That gummy is yellow? Oops, sorry. I, I, oopsies. Then it's not mine. The ones I eat don't have any yellow gummies. Oh. What? That's right. None of the gummy bags in her cottage had any yellow ones. Cancelled, I know. Then we can't assume Hyoko is the one who dropped that yellow gummy. See? Didn't I tell you? It's definitely a trap. Uh, damn it! Who would set a trap like this? I'll get my revenge. I'm gonna bop you on the head with all my might. Hold on, you little bitch. You think you're in the clear just because of a little gummy? Don't be stupid. I'm not done backing you into a corner yet. Oh. You little bitch. <laughs> okay. We're not done with Hyoko yet! There's still a huge piece of evidence left! You're talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? It's true, that's an important piece of evidence! And we can thank Mahiru for it! What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and... ...blocked the door to the road, thanks to her. We have the evidence oh, we wait. need! No, Megan's autopsy report? Uh, that's wrong! She died. I no, she those died right away. During my morning walk. Okay, We're wait. not done with Hyoko yet! There's still a huge You're talking about the footprints. It's true, that's an important and we can thank Mah What does that mean? Mahiru used her last day. No, because she no, died. No, that's instantly. wrong. Mahiru didn't block the door. Her death was instant. Instant death? According to my autopsy, yes, there's no doubt that Mahiru died instantly. If you keep making shit up, I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> I'm sorry! For you, Hiko, you cannot do that. Only a coward threatens women. Um, I'll threaten anybody I want. I'm pretty sure her death was instant, too. I mean... Her injury was only a single blow. That's why Mahiru isn't the one who blocked the door. Someone else used her body to block it. So someone else?
The killer, of course. They're the one who blocked the door with Mahiru's body. That's why there were bloody drag marks left on the floor. But why did the killer block the door? Just ask Kyoko. She's the killer, after all. Mm. Seriously? That's not true! Let's assume Hiyoko is the killer. Wouldn't that mean she's also the one who dragged the body? If she handled a body that bloody, I think her clothes or skin would have been stained with blood. Huh? But when I saw her, she was... She was clean. See? I told you I wasn't the killer! Yay! With this, my innocence has been proven! I won't let you look down on me! Oh my god, my bookie bear! We haven't decided that yet! Please, Fuyuhiko, bestie, I am weak. Don't do this to me, please. Hey, Fuyuhiko. Why do you keep insisting that Hyoko is the killer? Shut up! I'm telling you, she's the killer! That little bitch is definitely the killer! If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hyoko did it! She killed Mahiru! And block the door with her butt. Kyoko is the only killer I could think of. Bro, Fuyuhiko is stubbornly insisting that Hyoko is the killer. If I don't counter all of his words, I'll be pushed back. Name calling on high for real. If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I could think of! Bruh. If Mahiru didn't block, then Hiyoko did it! She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her. Kyoko is the only killer I could think of! What am I doing wrong? If Mahiru didn't block the then Hiyoko She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I could think of! Fuck if me. If Hyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the- After she moved the body, she just walked- The fact that Hyoko Fuck. was at the beach house can be proven- Did you get all that, you bastard? I missed it. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach. After she moved the body, she just washed it off in the shop. I'll cut through those words. Allow me to cut through those words. <laughs> wow, that was actually probably the best no, we've done at that game. Washing it off in the shower is impossible because the shower in the beach house was out of order. Allow me to cut through those words, period. And he ate when he said that. I'm not even going to lie to you. Out of order? I'm terribly sorry. I haven't had any time to actually repair it. Then... Maybe she took her clothes off to move the body, and when she was done, she put them back on. Are you saying I did something that perverted? Hyoko took off her clothes before committing the murder? No, that should be impossible. Because she can't dress herself. I see. Listen to me, Fuyuhiko. Hyoko mentioned this before. I can't help it. I can't tie my kimono sash by myself. Which means Hyoko can't change by herself. It's impossible for her to put on and take off her clothes. But what? <laughs> She's literally a baby. Oh yeah, she couldn't even tie her sash on her own. That's why she couldn't take a bath and smelled bad. I, I didn't smell, and it only smelled a little. Oh. Wasn't changing inside the beach house prohibited in the first place? Yes, if you broke the rules, I'm pretty sure Monokuma wouldn't have kept quiet. Damn right! I'm such a stickler for the rules that even safari park rangers want nothing to do with me! If she didn't change her clothes, then what did Hyoko do with the blood that got on her? Like I've been saying, the blood wasn't on me in the first place. 
Because I never touched Mahiro's body! Hey, if you think about it the other way around, does that mean whoever was covered in blood is suspicious? Because if so, I believe Akane was soaked with blood when we all met up to go to the beach. Didn't I tell you that was because I got beat up by Coach Nekomaru? I can attest to that. If I hadn't gotten that rough with her, she never would have backed down. Doubt me of all people. You got some nerve. All right, I'll bend your body in half so you're stuck in a bowing position for the rest of your life. That actually sounds pretty cool. The hell it does. Hey, more importantly, I'm okay now, right? It's okay that I'm not the killer? Yeah, seems like it. Yeah. See, I already seems told like you. It. There's no way I'd kill Mahiru. Because Mahiru taught me how to wear a kimono, and she was very, very kind. See, my thing is like... I mean, like, she was to you, kind of, but also I feel like she was annoyed by your ass, low-key. Sorry. There's no way I would kill a nice person like her! Why wouldn't you believe me earlier? You guys are stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Wow. Reminds me of somebody I know. Yoko, please don't cry. Everything is fine now, right? Shut the hell up, pig barf! I hope you get a hangnail and die! <laughs> I'm sorry for being pig barf. Like I, I, I like how the rest of them just let, just let Hyoko bully Mikan. They don't say, "Hey, Hyoko, don't say that. That's really mean." They just like let it happen. It's crazy. It's just crazy to me. More importantly, Fuyuhiko's behavior earlier was definitely strange. Did I miss a line? No, I didn't. Getting so worked up and accusing Hyoko of being suspicious. Could it be... Does he actually have something else in mind? Hey, Hyoko. Now that our suspicions have been addressed, can you tell us the truth? Huh? Even though you're not the killer, you still went to the beach house, right? Even though you're not the killer. Like I said, it was a trap! Yeah, I got that already, so... Can you give us the details about that trap? I would like to know too. It might lead to some kind of clue. Fine. You want me to talk, huh? Um, earlier this morning, Mahiru was the one who came up to me. She asked if we could meet up later. Huh? But didn't you say earlier... She never talked to me at all. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Damn it! So that was a lie? Cuz I thought it'd be doubted if I admitted it. So I figured it was better not to say anything. So, what was your answer to Mahiru's invitation? I told her it was fine. I mean, I didn't have a reason to say no. Unlike everyone else here, Mahiru was someone I wasn't embarrassed to be seen with. You always have to say something snide. At the time, we were supposed to meet around 2 p.m., but... Around noon, there was a letter inside my mailbox. A letter? Yeah, this one. I was going to tell you this in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island. The time is still the same at 2pm. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started... Uh, if they started suspecting us for no reason. Mahiru Koizumi. I saw this letter and went to the beach house at that time.
I can prove it with this. This letter. Doesn't it look like its contents are different from the letter Mahiru had? About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if, if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30 p.m. Mahiru's letter said to meet at 2.30 p.m., but in Hyoko's letter... Listen, they, you, you, you know, they wanted Whoa, to meet at 2 p.m. The meeting times are off. It's also strange that both letters wanted to change their meeting spot to the beach house. It would be plausible if one of them said it, but for both letters to say the same thing? Hyoko, since you wrote it, what do you think? Like I said, I never wrote the letter. How many times do I have to tell you? It's safe to say a letter was forged by the killer, but which letter did the killer forge? I would assume both of them. I see! The killer must have forged both letters. The killer forged them so they could manipulate their actions. Yeah, that's how we should think about it. That seems very likely. In fact, if you compare both letters... What? Oh, DMs. Confirmed! Just as I assumed, the handwriting is the same. The content of the letters matches, too. Ooh. Like this part. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. This part, it seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. And this part, let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. Oh my god, Ken. Ken, I have to show this on stream, Let, please. Please, can I show this on stream? This is so epic. <laughs> So, they were able to control Hyoko and Mahiru to do their bidding, like a netherworld puppeteer. Um, yeah, there is. There is an achievement for not missing. For, for clearing a trial with no mistakes. So they completely tricked me. And then, Mahiru's... Killer! <laughs> How mean! Give me back my room! Really? This is really terrible. I've offered to help so many times, but the killer this time didn't discuss their plan with me at all. It's all my fault. I'm so ashamed of being unreliable. Here we go again. Once we let our guard down, this happens. I mean, just another day in the neighborhood for real. Okay, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's what the mask is. That's what the point of the mask is. What do you guys what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about this? I think we know what happened here. <laughs> this is made by the lovely Ken, aka Crimson Jackets, in chat. Now this now this is the good stuff. Oh brother, <laughs> this guy stinks! <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, back back to the trial. Am I right guys? <laughs> we can just lightly punch him to death later. So based on what the letter said, 
You went to the beach house at 2 p.m., right, Hyoko? What's most important is what happened afterward. What? <laughs> I fell asleep! Teehee! Why'd you fall asleep? It's not like I wanted to. I think I was forced to get a whiff of some kind of medicine or something. <gasps> medicine? Th that medicine... Could it be? Did they get it from the drugstore? I thought that place seemed unsafe. They even have prescription medicines laying out in the open. If you were aware of that from the start, you should have done something about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. When I woke up, I was inside a small closet. And when I rushed out, I... I saw Mahiro's body. And that's why you ran out of the beach house in such a panic. I, I was scared. It was really, really scared. Really scared that I couldn't help, but... <laughs> the killer probably planned to frame Hyoko from the start. And for that reason, they summoned Hyoko before Mahiru, put her to sleep, and shoved her inside the closet. So their reason for blocking the door with Mahiru's body was to make Hyoko leave her footprints as evidence. Everything was done to frame Hyoko as the killer. That's horrible! I didn't do anything wrong, and I was framed by Mahiru's killer! Bro, whoever the, whoever the killer is is shaking in their boots right now. They're like, damn it. I've been banned from Dave and Busters. <laughs> Yo Yoko, please do not cry. We believe you. Please do not cry. <laughs> Is it really okay to believe her so easily? She might be faking those tears, you know. She could. This will never end if you keep being so suspicious. Isn't that what a class trial is all about? The only way to survive is to be suspicious. This is where we go to thoroughly doubt each other. So if you believe in each other so easily, then there's definitely something wrong with you. You're wrong, Fuyuhiko. We aren't supposed to doubt each other here. We're supposed to work together. The class trial is where we cooperate with each other, work hard, and aim for victory. The killer and everyone else. Two hopes attempting to grasp the one true hope. Two hopes clashing with each other is poetry in motion. That is what a class trial should be. This guy's a freak. Seriously, which side are you on? I'm on the side of the absolute hope that can overcome any despair. And I believe that absolute hope exists at the point where two hopes clash. You know, Komaida would have loved to meet Makoto, you guys. You know, Makoto at the end of Danganronpa 1, he became the ultimate hope. He would have loved to meet him, trust. Your stance is neither white nor black, but gray. And you do not yearn for your life, or even for victory. Jeez, I wish he'd just side with the enemy already so I can believe what he's saying! Let's stop. Believing every little thing Nagito says is a waste of time. Period. Yeah, we need to figure out who Mahiru's killer is. There should be a new clue contained in what Hyoko has told us. So, let us believe Hyoko's words and discuss it once again with everyone. Yup, yup! The debate proceeds when you assume you can believe each other. Good job! That's the right way! That's the splendid power of teamwork. Hey, what do you think of that, Monokuma? I'm not going to let you have the outcome you want. Hey. Oh, he's easy. <sighs> whoa, whoa. He's sleeping. He's just an EP little bear. <laughs> Dumbasses. You bastards don't know anything. If you're stupid enough to trust each other, the only thing waiting for you is the bitter truth. Isn't, I mean, it, honestly, honestly, now hear me out. I feel like Fuyuhiko is more 
similar to Yakia than like somebody else, you know? I feel like they're very similar where like they're being lone wolves from the group. Uh, they bully people. <laughs> they're my faves. <laughs> Um, but you know, in the end, they come around. Trust. The bitter truth. That may be true, but even so, we can't just stand around here all day. Even if what lies ahead is a cruel ending, the only thing we can do is move forward. Oh my god, I forgot Mahiru was right next to me and she's dead. Oopsies. Because, unless we reveal who among us is Mahiru's true killer, there's no way we'll survive. So does Yasu here for sure. Yeah, but I like Kazuichi well, more, now. and he does it better, and also, he's my Pookie Wookie Bear, for real, for real. Sorry, I didn't read that at all. What did you just say, Monokuma? Well then, now that the class trial has reached its climax, I would like to present the answer right here, right now. Hey! Huh? You're gonna spoil who the killer is? Boo! If I reveal the answer before everyone's ready, they'll all be shocked. They'll all feel despair. You can! That's- can't! That's seriously a big no-no! But spoiling it right now is innovative, don't you think? The club president and I are powerless against innovation. Who's the club president? So, without further ado, the answer is... Gah! You can't! Everyone, please close your eyes and cover your ears! Correct! You say Nanu in German when you're surprised! Um... Huh? I don't know what you're talking about, but somehow it feels wrong to me. I would love to save. Thank y'all. Trial resume. I'm Monami, and my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. To think that the person who killed the wonderful Mahiru Kwezumi is in this room. Impossible! Impossible! That's so impossible! There's no way I can believe that! Ugh, I can't do anything! How annoying! But I'm just gonna believe in everyone! That's the least I can do! Everyone do your best! Don't lose to yourselves! And don't forget to save regularly! Save regularly! Well, now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? Now what? If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Full gummy. Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. That track goes hard. <laughs> Just as I there thought. Goes. It does, it does, though. A lot of Dying Rupa music is really good. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. Which means... the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house? The killer returned to the scene of the crime? After I left? They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. Ooh. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! That you know. I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there! Then, does that mean the killer came back? Hmm... I wonder... At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. I want to play a new game. Is that what you're thinking? If so, we've prepared the perfect product for you. You will dive into your own brain and logically discern the mysterious answer from several questions. It's called the Logic Dive. During the Logic Dive, you will control a version of yourself created from an image within your brain. 
Your task is to reach the goal, the final destination of the synapse course. You can move sideways with the left stick and accelerate with the RB button. Press the LB button to break and RB button to jump. There will be various obstacles you will encounter as you progress throughout the course. So make sure you're familiar with these controls so you can reach the goal. On your journey, you will take damage every time you fall into a gap or bump into the walls. Also, upon reaching a certain point, there will be branching questions in the course. The answers split into different paths, so please proceed down the path that you, of the answer you think is correct. Branching questions will appear several, t several times in one course. Please be careful. I highly recommend, uh, recommend that you make good use of the break. That's my meddlesome advice for you. You can press start during the logic dive to review the controls girl I need it right now. <laughs> well then, good luck and have fun. She's right. This might be a very important problem. If the killer tampered with the evidence after Hiyoko ran away from the beach house, when did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? And if they hid inside the beach house, where would they have been hiding? Yoko said nobody was hiding in the shower room. Think. If I just focus and think about it, I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. Alright, I'm going to do it. Hold on guys, I gotta I gotta really think inside my mind. I can't remember what this actually looks like. Oh, it is the snowboard one. Fuck dude. Uh. Okay, it's just like that game I used to play on Cool Math. Wait, what was the accelerate? Okay. Okay. And then this is I'm scared. Okay, it it is it is. Come on. Question one. Before Hiyoko arrived, when did the killer arrive at the beach house? Before. Okay, okay. Yup, yup. Okay, okay. So far so good? Alright. Question two. When did the killer leave the beach house? Um, after Hyoko left. Word, word. Question three. Where was uh, the killer hiding while Hioko was unconscious? The beach house. Okay. For the first one, that wasn't that bad. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Do you think the killer might have been hiding? You spent all that time thinking just to say something so pointless. How disappointing. Fuck you, bitch. Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. No, there should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Hiyoko. What are you saying? Stop being annoying, or I'm gonna make Akane bop you on the head and shut you up for good! I really don't want that to happen to me. I need to answer by any means. She's so high and mighty now, I know, right? Shh, I told you, I'll punt her like a football for real. The place where the killer was hiding, the place where Hyoko hasn't looked, is... 
the closet. Here. The killer was probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up. After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? Then you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. But could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Hyoko knowing? That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. Ah. If the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place in advance, I can only think of one place. That's right, the place where the killer was hiding inside the closet was. In this suit or Here. surfboard case. I almost said suitcase. What about the surfboard case in the closet? Yeah, I'm surfboard. pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Yarg. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? Mm-hmm. But the shelf it was on. It was pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf. And there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Cause we haven't been on this island that long. So the closet shouldn't have been that messy. I think. I think. Then the killer was close to me during that time? You're... Yeah. They were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. It's kind of like in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. What are you talking Don't about? Don't you mean it's always darkest under the lighthouse? <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. Anyway, the killer hid silently, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house, watching Hyoko. Saying whatever you want, even if we didn't ask. All right, if you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! Hm. Oh, you shut up. Then, grit your teeth. Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. What? Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. As I recall, the body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Is the killer also included among those three or more people? Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. You don't sound very articulate. Jeez! You're pretty annoying for noticing something like that! I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. Um, well, uh, Elpis Ratio, idiot. <laughs> I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. Yeah, I bet you would. I bet you would want to hear about a story about men. As I recall, the body now is three more people. Is the killer also included? You know... It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule 
could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility, huh? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. Yeah, I already knew that. Which means three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, let's get back to our original topic. You're the one who went on a tangent. Yeah, bitch. Uh, um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However, before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be all right. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? Now then, I shall explain to you the final feature in the non-stop debates. From this point forward, you will now be able to use the truth flashback. If you hold down the triangle button, the shape of the reticle will change. If you aim at the remark's weak spot and keep it there, or keep in that position, you'll be able to memorize it. This memorized phrase can only be fired once as a single truth bullet. If you shoot or change to a different uh, truth bullet, it will disappear from your truth cylinder. However, you can use this flashback feature as many times as you want. If you don't seem to have the answer to a lie or a mistake, it is available in your available truth bullets. It might be wise to memorize different weak spots, okay. When's the best time to flash back? Well, you'll just have to trust your keen wits, won't you? Well, I'm assuming I'm gonna have to use it here. I just noticed he has all those hamsters on him. Yeah, they're always just in his person. By the way, you will not be able to agree with anyone while you're using the truth flashback. Please remember that it is only effective when refuting points. Well then, good luck and have fun. Alright, what am I sucking up? What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... I think it's this. What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? Because they, they used something other than the push. shower. Oh god. As someone who flushes their sh it would definitely clog the toilet! Maybe it's the other way. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body. Maybe yeah, they man. were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. No, that's, no, that's wrong. wrong! Damn, how they much just you needed to need wash to off gloves? the blood. They didn't necessarily have to use the shower. They right. could have just as easily used something else. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? Something other than the shower that was used to wash off the blood. It's possible it was the drinks inside the refrigerator. I see! The drinks inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? I've seen through it. Oh, hey, bestie. In theory, but that's impossible. Why? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand. 
that there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. I'm about to piss and shit. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. It Wait. <laughs> Wait, give me a minute. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm literally about to find the ultimate swordswoman in a sword contest. Oh my god. Okay. No, it's fine. In the beach house refrigerator. However, try th one bottle. It wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. Fuck. It's true there were in the beach house ref However, try think one bottle. It wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down. We can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no. Wa there were only flavored <gasps> drinks. With if you use those to wash, the blood won't come off, and your body will. It will leave an aromatic, especially if you use the that alone would raise suspicion. I missed it again, dude. I do it every time. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the ref. Allow, Allow me to me cut, cut through those, those words. words. That voice line is so fucking good. Yeah, a trash can. No, there was the bottles in the trash water can. bottles inside the refrigerator. How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. That was after the incident, right? But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Huh? You should have said so sooner. He doesn't even look like somebody who drinks water. He, he's, he literally looks like that type of guy to be like, bro, I'm so thirsty. It's like, oh yeah, you wanna what? Bro, let me get that um Dr. Pepper over there. Like, are you, what? Then the plastic no, water get bottles get were used in place of the shower. Right Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. Hold on a sec. Now that I think about it, if they soaked their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles, if they did that, that person would be... It seems you've realized who the killer is. Hmm? See? Just as I thought. <sighs> Hold on. You... You know who the killer is? <laughs> is that true? Let me ask, who might that be? If the killer used plastic water bottles to wash off the blood that splattered onto them, that killer, Mahiru's killer, must be someone among this group. Right before I discovered Mahiru's body, I met my baby girl, my baby boy. My bestie, the bitch I tolerate, and the bitch I hate! My gamer bud, my Discord friend even, and another bitch I tolerate. And a bitch I barely like. Is there a killer among us? <laughs> You're the only one. Pecco. Is it you? I know Cosby's shit in his pants right now. He's like, bitch, I'm right next to her. What are you being quiet for? They're accusing you of being the killer! 
Then I should ask you this. Why do you believe I'm the killer? I remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach. Your appearance when you came to the diner. <laughs> Help the parking. <laughs> Hajime and Kaz Kazuichi, why are you two here? Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. If the killer really did wash the blood off with water bottles, they'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house, and it would have taken a while for the water you to know, fully air dry. Let me just say this. What, they, they literally were surrounded by the beach. Could have just did a... Just a, just a little a little dip in the water. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Don't just stay silent. Say something. Hold on, you bastard. You saw her at the diner. You never saw her near the beach house, right? So maybe she really was swimming. No one even saw her swimming. No. I saw her. Huh? Uh, after I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. So, so there's no doubt. She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Hold on. That's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? Not them flashing back to something that happened, like, two hours ago. <laughs> it's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I didn't even pay attention to the beach house. I went straight back to the hotel after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. Well, you know what? I was a liar. You told me you didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. Maybe I- and if I did? <clears throat> Not so fast! It's too soon to decide she's a killer. We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house. Now that you mention it, you're right. The roadside door was blocked. And if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints, then how the fuck did the killer escape? Period. Um, why are you all fired up, Fuyuhiko? You're not the suspect. Peko is. <laughs> Who cares about that? Answer me! If you have an explanation, then show me what you got! Uh, are we about to do like a bullet time battle or whatever the fuck it's called in this game? We might have an answer. Huh? Do you really? This mystery seems unsolvable. Well, if Peko is the killer, then I might just have an answer to that mystery. I see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. First, let's establish how the killer escaped. The killer's escape route. I might know what it was. In fact, it's the only possible thing I can think of is that opening. The small window in the shower. I see! If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option... The only other thing I can think of is... Well, nothing really. Except that small window in the shower room. Huh. Don't you know how high that window is? There's no way Peko could have reached it. B but what if, for instance, she got help from someone? She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person would have been left behind. Is it possible an object was used? A rope, for instance? And what happened to the rope after they used it? And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside! Of course not! That would violate the school trip rule! Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature in mutual prosperity. Littering is prohibited. Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. You see? There's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. No, they just have to use an object. Chiaki, don't fall asleep on us! We just said they couldn't use an object! 
You did? I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. I see. You don't have to throw it away if you can just hide it somewhere on your body. Huh? Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! No! Please don't be violent! Even if the killer used an object to escape out of the window, they wouldn't have been able to get rid of it. So the only thing I can think of that the killer must have hit it, hit it somewhere is that the killer must have hit it somewhere. If that's the case, no, well, maybe it was an object that they didn't have to hide. If so, I feel like I'm starting to see something. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What is it? No, I didn't mean to- Fuck me, I didn't mean to do that. Get this shit off the screen. What is it? Wait, what is the bu- Uh, explosion. No, I want to delete it. Display, hide, problem, fast forward, catch, release- Oh, okay, it's just A. I needed that B, fuck me, I'm done. It's like my brain just stops thinking and I'm just like in survival mode. sweating right now. I didn't mean to destroy that. No! Oh, God damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god, oh my god. Heko, you carry that bamboo sword on your back at all times, right? If I recall correctly, you had it then too. Despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your bamboo sword. With no strap. Are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? Yeah. Pekko used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. A uh, sword as a step stool? You see? I knew it! I knew it was a ninja! Didn't I tell ya? A ninja could have climbed that easily! 
Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. You didn't think to bring that up? Wow, just like a Japanese ninja. Miss Sonia, ninjas only exist in Japan. Well, it is a bamboo sword, but I'm sure a slender girl like Peko could easily use it to climb. Well, Peko, do you have anything to say? How did she know that? I don't know. I guess she likes ninja movies. Now then, the time has come once again for Panic Talk Action PTA. Let's talk a bit about Fever Time and Nega Time. From, the, from this point on, you will be able to use Fever Time by pressing the RB button during PTA. When Fever Time is activated, the tempo will be pushed to its max, but that's not all. You won't miss during Fever Time either. By pressing the B button when applicable, you can destroy the opponent's verbal assault, but only until your focus gauge runs out. So make the best possible use of your time. Oh god, I already forget how to do this. I already forgot how to do this. Fuck. Of course, you're not the only one who can get the upper hand. There's a, 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 something called nega time when... Your opponent can use that too. Then your opponent can use it. Your opponent, no. yeah, 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 yeah. Your tempo will disappear. Please, I don't want to do this. So in that case, please time the rhythm not with your eyes, but with your ears and your passionate heart. Oh God. If you can't clear it, you can always change the difficulty settings. Bestie, I'm as low as I can get. I'm not going to tell them that they'll have to redo the class trial for that chapter if they do that. Well, then good luck. Have fun. <laughs> Hold on a sec, you bastard! You guys, if I lose right now, I can assure you I will be ending the stream. And then I'll be crying. You're saying she used her sword as a step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? It would have been left in the shower room and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass! F Fuyuhiko, why do you even care? Shut up! Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If you have an answer, then fucking give it to me! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! For you, Hiko, why? Why are you. Oh. Wait, wait. Wait, I'm new gen! I'm new gen! <laughs> Yes, that's new gem boys. We stick together. Okay, block on final strike is X. B is final strike. Reload final strike. What? Girl. Got proof, you bastard! I'll sell your fucking organs! That's obviously impossible! You're pissing me off! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! Shut up! Shut up! They really said you're bastard. really bad at this. Don't fuck with me! You're pissing me off! I can't Got even proof, hear what bastard. beat I'm supposed to be hitting. That's obviously impossible! Bastard! Got proof, you bastard! I'll sell your fucking organs! You're pissing me off! Don't fuck with me! <gasps> fuck! You're pissing me off! You're pissing me off! Bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! If she used the bamboo uh, sword bam as a step stool, it would have been sword left back. Behind. <laughs> this no. is the end! <laughs> Wait, did I do that right? Bamboo sword back, okay. <laughs> My, my brain is working in maximum if overdrive. She used a bamboo sword as a step stool. She could have recovered it with her sword back. When she leaned her sword against the wall to use as a step stool, she tied her sword back to it. And after she climbed up to the window, as long as she hauled the bag up toward her, she would have been able to recover her bamboo sword. I see. Not just the bamboo sword, but even the sword bag, too. She used them both to escape. Hakane said she's like a ninja, but it's nothing as silly as that. Simply put, 
Only Pekko could have performed this feat. An escape plan befitting of the ultimate swordswoman. Even so, how disappointing. If you'd only let me work with you, it would have been an even greater plan. Yeah, clear your throat. No! Oh, you just back off! Uh, um, is it true? Did you really kill Mummy? Hold on! You're just making assumptions! You... You don't have any proof. I won't accept this unless there's proof! Epic. Got it, you bastard! It's fine. Huh? I said it's fine. Saying anything more would just be an exercise in futility. She admitted it just now, right? She admitted she's Mahiru's killer, right? But is this right? Even though Fuyuhiko was the one arguing with us, Heko just admitted it so freely. Among flowers, the cherry blossom. Among men, the samurai. I commend your decisiveness. We are here for you. We Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Let's cast our votes. Agree. Hurry up and vote. Uh, hold on. Let me confirm one thing first. Can it wait until after the voting? This is important, and it relates to the voting. It's about Pekko's motive. My motive? In the end, you had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? Then, why did you kill Mahiru? Hmm, so it's about that. Let's see, if I must answer that question, I must say, it was for the sake of justice. Huh? Justice? In order to protect the justice of this world. Huh? I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. There is only one reason I kill. For the sake of protecting justice. Y you What are you saying? Justice is what makes humans human. It's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. Justice is the eternal sun and the enduring moon, the protective father and the smiling mother. Uh, hello! Earth to Pekko! If justice ever disappeared from this world, the world would immediately freeze and people's smiles would vanish. I will not allow that! It, it's fine, just stop it! Justice must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our heads. <laughs> I'm telling you to stop it! So I must Fight! I must continue to fight to protect justice. Th this is... Could she be... As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! Now then, let's execute justice! She looks goofy as hell. <laughs> what? 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 what the fuck? Yeah, Kazuichi says fuck. <laughs> Pekko, what are you doing? Oh, Robin, you're about to love this fact. I am Sparkling Justice. In the name of Sparkling Shining Justice, I have come to deliver justice. Listen, like I said, imagine poor Kazuichi who's standing right next to her. He's probably like, get me the fuck out of here. Her Japanese VA is Sailor Moon. 
which this mask is so clearly based off of. I was wondering if this was a Sailor Moon pit. What's going on? What's this? Chill. A uh, 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 Pecco finally snapped. Everyone, please be careful. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who claims to be an ally of justice. Clad in her various hero masks, she is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals. She is supposed to be... but... huh? An ally of justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask! This mask is the dividing line. Just like various idols, the sun is revered because it lies just beyond your grasp. Justice should also be the same. <laughs> I, I don't get it, but but this is becoming really crazy. What? What the heck is this? Pekko is the killer? Why is it turning out like this? This, this is turning out to be a surprising turn of events. <sighs> 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 Now's not the time for you to be sleeping. Marikuba, wake up. Take a look. It's a killer. Somebody wake up, people. <laughs> hey. This again? Huh? Sleep talking? I guess so. So what's your answer to my previous question? Why did you kill Mahiru? Yeah, why, why'd you do it, Pekko? Why'd you do it? This world must always be bathed in the light of justice. I must not allow even one shadow. Period. Evil must be eliminated immediately. No matter what, I must not overlook evil. Evil? Are you saying Mahiru is... If you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? Period. I did. And because of that, I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. <laughs> like a sewer rat. <laughs> then, the reason you killed Mahiru was... Because she helped cover up a murder. To protect justice, of course. In order to protect justice, I have become its merciless sword. And... Executed justice. Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath! <laughs> She's so gross! Pekko, is this your true identity? My true identity? <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice. <laughs> She's slaying, I cannot lie. Oh, I can't stand this anymore. Let's just end this farce already. end it he's right we need to end this already the killer in the end there's no mistake that it was Pekka all along let's go over this incident one more time and then let's end this let's end this closing argument begin all right what do we have this time stock one okay we got the mask that's what the mask is and then we have the letter uh, in order to learn Mahiru, I think it's this one. Okay, 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 okay. Um, is this after she wakes up? I'm assuming it's either this one or this one. Um,. I think it's this one. Wait. Kyoko wakes up. Okay, yeah. This one. Okay, and then we have the mask. Uh, 
Um, this? A pretty anime girl mask? Would it be here or... No, it would probably be earlier, right? Oh, wait, okay. This would go... Here? Fuck. Oh, no, this goes here. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, that, yep, yep, yep. Stock two. Okay. Go to the star. I think this goes here. She eating her fruit gummy. She comes in. Um... I think this is here. And then... Yup. 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 This goes here. This goes here. And then... Where is it? This goes here. Yippee! Here's everything that happened in this case. Here's the whole story. The incident began this morning when Mahiru spoke to Hyoko. Oh, hold on. Let me let me get out of the way. Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome murder case, the video game provided to us as the motive. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Kyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. However, someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation, and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan. By preparing a specific item, they planned to manipulate the two's actions. That item was the letters. They sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyoko. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. And the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. God, I love this set. This, oh, art. I thought, I, I saw a set and I was like, a set you bet. You know, and I always say that. Poor Mahiru. Um, maybe. <laughs> Hyoko totally trusted that letter. Showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m., just like it said. And was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. After putting Hiyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet. So they could frame her as the killer later. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the beach house. She was completely unaware that she had been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon, the metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, and with that, she took her last breath. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly, so she probably never knew who killed her. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru, and began to tamper with the crime scene. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road, Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. I'm not really sure why. My guess is, it's something similar to a calling card. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on them. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, 
The killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. They used plastic water bottles that were inside the beach house refrigerator. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Hyoko was in. Low key, I would have just taken the bottles and hid them in that like um surfboard case. The killer hid inside the like surfboard case that they had already emptied beforehand. After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off and she woke up. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. <laughs> yeah, period. I mean, she made plans to see Mahiru, who lay dead right in front of her. Look, it, because Mahiru's hair is red, it kind of, if you look at it the wrong way, it kind of looks like Mahiru's hair is pink and it's covered in the red blood. <laughs> Even though it's actually the other way around. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Hyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. After Hyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case and placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, Placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route. The small window in the shower room. However, that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily, which is why the killer used the bamboo sword they always carry with them. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle, and used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. Look at me! It's me! Look at Kazuichi! Jockey! But their wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. So when the killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Heko Pekoyama? I see. I see. And what of it? She's like, totally cool with it. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. Well, what are you saying? You killed Mahiru! Wrong! I punished evil in the name of justice. That's no reason to condemn me. <sighs> Whatever. Let's hurry up and vote so we can freaking kill this weird crazy bitch. There's no way you can kill me. Justice can never be killed. You should all know that as well. What are you saying? To protect what's most important to you, you must be prepared to throw away something equally important. Understand? I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Then I shall be direct. Justice must carry on. In order to keep justice, to keep me alive, you all must give up your lives. Uh, are you serious? It's not serious. 
It's justice. It's justice. Period. If I fall here, who will combat the evils of this world? Now, follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all and save my life to protect justice. Hurry and carry on justice. Give me a break. Who's going to die for you? If we let Pecco go, we're all going to get killed. Did my controller just disconnect? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm, I, I was watching the show, mister. For the sake go. of grand justice, a few sacrifices are unavoidable. A, a few sacrifices? <laughs> that? Don't worry. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. I can't stand her anymore. Let's vote already and execute her. Um, however... Before we do that... Monokuma, the vote! Hurry up and let us vote already! <sighs> I'm awake! Ah, he finally woke up! I've heard your story! Well, I wasn't listening, but who cares? Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will, will you, you make, make the, the right, right choice, choice or, or the, the dreadfully, dreadfully wrong one? one? Yeah. <laughs> Such, Such heart pounding, pounding excitement. All right. Oh, can we please have a little more time? Oh. Um, pardon me. Can we have a little bit more time? Please let us continue our discussion. Continue our discussion? But isn't the voting over? Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. Huh? Strange? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Pekko is the killer. That is true. However... As a serial killer enthusiast, you're wondering if Petco is really sparkling justice, am I right? Huh? Hey, Miss Sonia isn't a serial killer enthusiast. She just has a little more passion about them than most. Why, that scared me a little. Why, is Sonia popping up? That makes her an enthusiast! Oh, uh, jump. Sonia jump scare for real. Honestly, it felt strange to me too. I mean... There's a distinct difference between what we know about Sparkling Justice and Petco, right? A uh, distinct difference? You know, Sonia describes Sparkling Justice like this. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me, Sparkling Justice! What the heck was that? That is Sparkling Justice's catchphrase. An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase. I read it in a magazine in the library. There has only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. I see, so that's what it was. I think I've got the difference between the serial killer and Pekko. Girl, I thought we ended it already. Nationality, right? Yeah. I see. That's right. According to what Sonia said. The article was written in their native language, so I tried to translate it. If she had it translated, that means it wasn't written in English, right? Yeah, English. Huh? Yes, the magazine I read was written in Spanish. So, Sparkling Justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. Which means the journalist and Sparkling Justice are both... From Spain? 
What? All this time, I completely misunderstood. When I first heard about those serial killers, Genocide Jack and Sparkling Justice, I just assumed both serial killers were from the same country. But that wasn't the case. If so... Pecco, you're not Sparkling Justice. There's no way that's possible. What if, what if she just burst out and was like fluent in Spanish? Or, if you insist that you're Sparkling Justice, can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? Listen, what if she just did it though? Wouldn't that be kind of funny? Will you be able to do that? Hmm. It appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. My duty has already been finished. My duty as a tool has already been completed in full. Uh-huh. Looks like she's back to normal? That mask has fulfilled its purpose, just as I have. What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose too late? What are you getting at? Now that you've already cast your votes, is what it means. Hey, be clearer! We're asking you what your purpose was! I have no purpose. I am just a mere tool. T tool What do you mean? She called herself a tool. Which means someone else used her then? <laughs> of course. A tool cannot do anything on its own. I see. I finally understand. Well, I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. But the mask rack, not the fucking Drew hashtag. What do you mean? I mean, besides Pekko and Hyoko, someone else was also at the beach house. S someone else? There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. The proof that there was one more person at the scene of the crime? Could it be what Nagito asked Monokuma about earlier? The body, the body discovery announcement. Because we only have um, Kazuichi and Hyoko. Are you talking about the body discovery announcement? Yep, that's right. I mean, didn't Monokuma say so earlier? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine. Fine, you want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time. Okay, all done. That announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. And in this particular case, the killer, Pekko, is not one of those three. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... I see. That leaves us one person short. So that means there was one more person in the beach house! Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. No, that's not it. Huh? Am I wrong? Yes. From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that person. Huh? Therefore, that person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? Bump, You're the only one! Fuyuhiko Kuzumi. Is it Fuyuhiko? I see. Now I finally see the connection. The connection between the motive and the incident. But even if it's the motive, it's just a game, right? There's no reason to believe it's even true. Would you call a game like that a strong motive? No. 
The events that occurred in the game should have definitely occurred in real life. In order to show that off, Madakuma gave us something that proves that. Bom, 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 bom. Uh, this. The ending I prize. I can prove it with this! I didn't think it was necessary to confirm it if it didn't have anything to do with Mahiru's murder, but... There's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. The photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. They're all actual photos, with the surrounding scenery cropped out. I.e. they were too lazy to make a proper background, lol. You knew all along, Fuyuhiko, didn't you? You knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister, right? Because... Whoever beat the game first, and received the ending prize. Hey, what's with that envelope? What's inside? Shut up! What makes you think you have any right to question me? It was the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize. It was you, wasn't it? If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to Mahiru to confirm it. Hey! Why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Cause... Paco is the killer, right? But... We already voted! That's why I told you. You're all too late. As I said before, I exist as nothing more than a tool. I had no motive for killing Mahiru. No reason to kill. Not even the will to kill. I was simply used as a tool. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. Hey! What's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? It means I'm not the killer. The true killer who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi, was Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. What? What the hell? I see. That's what you were aiming for all along. No, I have no aim. But my young master does. My young master planned this from the start. Young master? That is the truth of this case. I'm sure you realize it by now, but it's too late. You cannot undo the vote. That's a problem. If Peko's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. That's a oopsie daisy. In that case, the person who gets to live is... Just... me? That's nuts! No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane! H how would Peko be a tool in the first place? Peko is a legitimate human being! That's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. I mean, I guess it's a win-win for he her either way. It's like, either... She dies, or everybody else dies, and he gets to live. So I guess it's a win. <laughs> what the hell? Yippee! Give me my Monokuma coins, bitch. in a bind and what a bind it is i guess for now let's take a quick recess we'll be right back after this commercial break hmm ahem although there were some twists and turns along the way the one who killed mahiru koizumi is uh, hold on a sec <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'll wait. So sorry, I'm just hesitating. Hey! 
There's no need to hesitate. No matter how you, you look at it, Pecco's the killer. <laughs> Why? Hey, hey! W why? <laughs> well, it's obvious. You're not a tool. You're a freaking human being. Well... If I'm a human, then I'm not a tool. If that's what you're saying, you're wrong. You just don't know. Because you just don't know. You just don't know that there are people who only exist to be tools. People such as myself only exist to be tools. Hey. What does she mean for you, Hiko? <sighs> Hiko and I grew up together. Um, are you two childhood friends then? No. No, it's completely different than that. Right after I was born and abandoned by my parents, the Kuzuryu clan took me in. I am nothing but a tool. They gave me a reason to exist. I am to fill my duty as my young master's property. What? Property, you say? <laughs> it means she's a hitman arranged by my clan to work directly under me. If my young master is attacked, I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. That is my only reason for living. Before I am human, I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. That is... Oh, sorry, I didn't even read that. Sorry, my, my, my fault. What did I say? But that is... You are wrong. You are not a tool, Pecco. Because if you are a tool... Uh, then... What was all that time we spent together? Nothing. Huh? Huh? I was ordered by my young master to, to behave, just as I was ordered to interact with you all. What? Our professional relationship does not exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. Right after we arrived on this island, that is what my, my young master ordered me to do. You fiend. That is why you were hiding your relationship, you mean? No. It's not as if... That started the moment we arrived on this island. Before that, my young master has always told me to hide our relationship. My young master loathes relying on his household power. He even hates me, the tool given to him by his household. I am nothing but a tool. No matter what I am told, I am nothing but a tool for killing. If my young master intends to kill, it is only natural for me to act as his tool. Then, the one who tried to kill Mahiru wasn't you. It was... Fuyuhiko? Damn it. It is what it is. When I thought I beat that game, I was suddenly given these photographs. Damn it! I don't understand. Why is my sister in these photos? Don't fuck with me! And she's... she's covered in blood. What does it mean? Why can't I remember? How come I don't even know if my sister is dead? You... You tried to confirm it with Mahiru, and that's why you wanted to talk to her. So... Bro, Paco makes me sad. Bro, me too. I have a lot of things to say, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Yeah. I sent her the photo because I wanted to make sure she'd respond. But she never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me, too. But... I'm pretty sure Mahiru was confused, too. I mean, we all were. Before anyone played that game, we didn't even know this incident had happened. That's why, even if we were told that we're connected to it, there's no way we would accept it. Um... Um... Y you know, when Mahiru spoke to Ibuki, she mentioned something about this. Aww. Aww, sorry. I actually have plans to go to the beach with everyone. Oh my my! Wait, huh? You're not gonna go, Mahiru? 
If you want to talk about it there, it'd be totally fine. Hmm... Um, it's pretty important, so, you know, it'd be troubling it to involve the others. Huh? You sound pretty serious. Um... Serious or not, I can't really do anything about it on my own. So I wanted someone to think about it with me. But... If I need to make amends, I would, but I don't even know how. Are you serious? That's definitely... That definitely sounds serious. I can cancel my beach plans for you. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's important that everyone gets along anyway. Just tell them I'm not feeling well. Plus, it doesn't have to be today. There's always tomorrow. Oh. She wanted to discuss how to make amends, but Hyoko was the only one who accepted her invitation. <sighs> I should have gone too. But... Uh, but it was rather convenient for you, wasn't for you, Hiko? If you could make use of their plan to meet each other alone, you could easily lure Mahiru into a trap, right? Hey. By calling both of them to the beach house, you were able to pin the blame on Hyoko. What the? Seriously, what the heck? An eye for an eye. That's the world I live in. My little sister was murdered. If the reason that happened was because of some person here. Damn it! I have no choice but to kill that person on my sister's behalf, right? And so... And so, my young master thought of a plan and executed it. I wanted to use a bat as the murder weapon because in the game, that's what was used to kill girl E. For revenge, clubbing the person to death the same way my sister was killed just seemed to make sense. Even if it ruined my disguise, it was the only thing I could do to avenge my sister. That is... So that is why you killed Mahiru with the bat? <sighs> But still, I believed her up till the very last minute. That... that game was just a work of fiction. But even so... That bitch... Hey. Hey, if that game is actually real, are you the one who killed girl E? Why, you? Hey, I don't want to hear about that. But... The fact that your sister was killed is terrible. It's unfortunate, but... Why? You shouldn't have killed that girl. Yeah, and your friend shouldn't have killed my sister, bitch. And you shouldn't have covered up for her, the fuck? Shut the hell up! Who cares about that? Just answer me. What do you know about that game? What are you saying? You had no right to do that. Nobody has the right to judge others for their crimes. Girl, you're judging me for my crime right now. What are you talking about? Stupid ass bitch, that's why I hate her ass. Revenge is just wrong. Jeez. Want me to be honest? This whole time, I was acting like a coward. Even after I called over Mahiru, I was still trying to find an excuse not to go through with the plan. Yeah. But after she said that to me, that all went out the window. I got really pissed off and grabbed the metal bat that I hid under the bench. But at that moment, <laughs> young master called me and made me kill Mahiru. Huh? Young master, I am finished. Look, he's smiling. He's so devious. What? Mahiru's so hypocritical. It's so bad. Literally. Oh my god. That's why I can't stand her ass. Like, she's so fucking annoying. You... Are you saying that you killed because you were ordered to? <laughs> A tool is not defined by its will, but by its actions. Eh? I don't get this at all. Of course. Well, of course you don't understand. Because humans are completely different from one another. Everyone's birthplace and upbringing is different. It's obviously impossible for them to understand each other. Hmm. So everyone just pretends to understand and pretends to be understood. Be quiet. Hey, you're too annoying. Can you just be quiet? Yes, indeed. Okie dokie, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Afterward, just as my young master planned, I proceeded to tamper with the scene of the crime. However, 
I also considered the possibility of being found out. <laughs> so in order to get you guys to make the wrong choice, I decided to make use of that serial killer story. It cannot be. You insisted that you were sparkling justice in order to make us hasten our votes? Mm. So we fell for it. We fell for her trick all along. <laughs> That's right. You guys have made the wrong decision. You voted me a mere tool as the killer, unaware that my young master was the true killer. That's obviously wrong. Uh, hold on. Don't act like our loss has been decided yet. No. No. It should be decided already. Isn't that right, Monokuma? This is troubling. I'll admit, all this talk about Peko being a tool sounds pretty persuasive. When you approach it from the various angles, it makes sense that Fuyuhiko is actually the true killer. <sighs> hold on. I'm telling you to hold on. I see. I see. So for Peko, Fuyuhiko himself is your true hope then. On his behalf, you killed Mahiru. And now you're trying to sacrifice us so that you can protect him. Great! You would only go that far because he's your one and only hope. Wrong. Wrong. I have no hope. I am just... <laughs> a tool? Well, even if we ask her, she'll probably just play dumb anyway. Now then! So I'm going to ask someone else. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what do you think? Huh? About what? Hey. Is Peko just a tool to you? Using that tool, surviving by sacrificing Peko and the rest of us. <laughs> Is that your hope? What? T Hold on. Hold on. What's the use of asking something like that? What? Huh? You seem distressed. A mere tool doesn't panic like that, right? Jeez. Peko, be honest. Are you trying to protect Fuyuhiko of your own free will? Hey. Fuyuhiko. Can you just tell me the truth? The fact that she killed on your behalf. The fact that she lied to us by acting like the killer. Are those all things you ordered her to do? Is that the truth? Huh? I... I... Um... Fuyuhiko! Yeah? I know you hate our guts, but... Huh? If you listen to Peko, we're all gonna die. Yeah. I... 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 Young Master. Young Master, you just have to tell the truth. I was only following your orders. You just have to tell them that. I... 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 Fuyuhiko, you mentioned this before, but... In this kind of situation... Interacting will, with others will only shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Miyakia and Teteru Teru are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. Y you're still saying that? Of course, I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. You don't really feel that way, right? You're not that kind of person. Because, if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating like you are now, right? <sighs> T young Master! There's no need to hesitate, Young Master. Please just tell them the truth. Young Master, you were the one who ordered me. I just did as I was told because I am a tool. Hmm. Will you go? This could be considered your ultimate choice. Regardless, either way, you'd still you you'll still lose Peko. But hey, if you insist you're the killer, just as she said, you can sacrifice us and survive alone. <laughs> or would you rather reject Peko and fight alongside us against despair? Which one will be your hope? Let's hear what you have to say. Damn it! I, I. Young master, I am finished. Y you What the hell did you do? Y you already know, right? What's going to happen after you kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. 
Hey, Pekka. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. You need to run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Young master, that is impossible. Sh Shut up! I'm ordering you not to worry about me! There is no way I cannot worry about you. I am... my young master's tool. A tool to protect my young master. Without an owner, the tool serves no purpose. God damn it, we are done with that crap! Why won't you listen to what I'm saying? Regardless, I will not flee. Besides, I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. <laughs> then why did you... I have a plan. Huh? A plan? Please do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. You, you idiot. What do you intend to do? I intend to fulfill my duty as your tool. Now please, go! Hyoko will be waking up soon. After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry! Damn it. You better run away. Got it? Just forget about me! Forget about the Kuzuryu clan! You better escape! So how about it for you, Hiko? Please, tell me the truth. Sorry. I'm sorry, Peko. I guess... I couldn't go through with it after all. Young master! I'm a disgrace. Cuz... If that's actually what I have to do to survive, I just feel ashamed of myself. It'd mean I can't live without depending on something. I just feel disgusted with myself. Pekko. And if I admit that, it means you really are just a tool to me. How many times did I tell you I don't want a tool given to me by the Kuzuryu clan? Young master. Uh oh. Oh my, so this is how it turned out. Too bad. And here I thought it'd be more brutal and heartless. Man, how disappointing. Which means everything happened thanks to her meddlesome actions. Why you? There's no way a human that meddlesome could ever be considered a tool. Blubber, 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 blubber. I'm so sad for them. Me too. And it gets worse. Hey. Monokuma, you knew all along, didn't you? You knew about what Pekko and Fuyuhiko discussed. Jeez. Well, it's obvious now. I mean, that's why you have surveillance cameras. You were just having fun, huh? <laughs> Man, even if it was an act of desperation, Pekko's claim was surprisingly interesting. <laughs> You're actually the first to try to influence the outcome of a trial like that. <laughs> but too bad, you're definitely the killer. Pekko, the tool with a heart, is the killer. Sorry. Pekko, I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your request. Even though you did all that to provide me with the chance to survive. But I... <sighs> I had a feeling it would turn out like this. Huh? Huh? Young master! Young master, you have a kind heart despite being a yak Yakuza. That's why you question your position and constantly worry about it. For you to sacrifice someone else just to escape by yourself, I believe you wouldn't accept that so easily. <laughs> We've been together ever since we were children. Even a tool would understand that. What? Then... Why? Even so, I wanted you to escape. I wanted to protect you. Pekko. I am terribly sorry. I will not be able to serve by your side until the very end, young master. Goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> and I am sorry for what I've done to you all, too. 
It may be selfish request, but please forgive my young master. And please do not cause a senseless killing such as this ever again. Uh, of course. Uh, uh, Peko! Huh. That will do, Monokuma. Why don't you start it already? I will never feel despair. Just so you know, I will never feel despair. As long as I am a tool, I am fully prepared to die. So cool! Boo-hoo! <laughs> so cool! But will you be able to maintain that composure up until the very end? People who act as proud as you always shed tears of despair in the end. <laughs> now then, let's begin! Young master for you, Hiko. Please permit me to make one final selfish request. Me having to per me having to pretend to be all upbeat as Monokuma, but inside I'm crying. I'm crying and I'm screaming. So... Didn't I tell you not to call me young master? I want you to remember. The tool, Peko Pekoyama, who used to stand beside you. I would like it if you remembered that. <laughs> That's it. How many times do you have to keep... I don't need tools. <sighs> you did say that. <laughs> then let's begin. The punishment time brimming with despair. Jeez. Jeez. Why don't you get it yet? Thrills, chills, kills! This time for the ultimate swordswoman, Peko Pekoyama. Why... You stayed by my side all this time. Why don't you get it? Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. I've prepared a special punishment for you. I... I never needed a sword or a shield. I never needed a tool. So... You didn't... Need to become a tool. Let's give it everything we've got! You just... You just needed to be yourself. I... I never wanted a tool. I just wanted you. Only you. Young master? Why? Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids! Let's go! It's punishment time! Please, Peko. Don't go! I need you! Don't leave me! Young master? Young master? One woman army.
bad. This is bad. This shouldn't be allowed. People dying so easily, falling like dominoes. <laughs> you bastard. What is this? Th this can't be... This is a lie, right? Paco! Will you eat go? Such a waste. For heaven's sake, this is just the worst. Jeez, what a waste. This conclusion, what a waste. This is why she should have just discussed it with me. Damn it. It was supposed to be a clash between two hopes, but it was crushed into something so unpalatable. Oh. You... you're still talking about that? You... What the hell's wrong with you? Aren't you pissed that two of your friends got killed? Such despair. I am pissed, and I even feel sad and hopeless. But still... Isn't that right? It's going to be alright. This despair is worthless. <laughs> even this despair is just a ladder to a bright, shining future that awaits us. The higher the ladder... The brighter we can shine. That is the unmistakable truth. Hmm. Calling me a ladder? Hmm. You say some pretty interesting things. <laughs> <laughs> In a way, your misguided thoughts of what hope should be remind me of him. Hmm. I don't really understand what you're saying. Listen carefully. Anyway. I shall make a, de a declaration. We will definitely destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> the hopes of all the ultimates here will definitely, completely, utterly destroy you. There won't even be a strand of cotton left when we're done with you. That's your future. How much longer are you planning to say such stupid things? Don't you understand? Even Fuyuhiko died, you know. Not yet. He's still alive. What? What? Everyone. Fuyuhiko is still alive. You serious? Are you serious? <laughs> Fuyuhiko! Frantically, we rushed over to Fuyuhiko's side. <gasps> Yeah, bro got fucked up for real. He, he, he's still... He, he's still breathing! Yeah. Is he gonna be okay? Yo, check out Kazuichi's fly kicks for real. Do something! Hey! You need to save him! Hey! Uh, I'm trying! But his blood... He won't stop bleeding out! His pulse is getting weaker! Can't you... can't you do anything about it? God damn it! Hmm... Well, serves him right! You're so stupid! Were you filled with hope at the thought of saving herself? That's why you ended up like that. You stupid brother! What are you so laid back about? You need to hurry up and save him. I don't believe it! Huh? A surprise order? What the heck? Why do I have to burn my precious calories just to save some Yakuza scum? That's wrong! It's your duty to save him! Huh? Duty? Hey, hey! Cause it's written in the school trip rules! If the blackened is exposed, only they alone will be executed. If only the blackened gets executed, then Fuyuhiko shouldn't be allowed to be executed. <laughs> oh well, if I could, I would do something about it right now. But since my magic stick was taken away, I'm practically powerless. Hey, hey! But you should be able to do it! Hmm. 
Mm. Unbelievable. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. Fine, fine. Well, there's no way I can violate a rule, even if it's me. So... Fine then, I'll save him. Really? Lie. <laughs> I was actually gonna do that all along, so I've always had this prepared for a while. Pre huh? Prepared? And that's when it happened. A siren began ringing from out of nowhere, and gradually grew closer and closer. Oh, uh, an ambulance? Just leave the rest to me! Dr. Kilgood! Oh god, Dr. Monokuma's here, you guys. Dr. Kilgood, you've already killed your patients! We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24 hour observation stat! Stat. So, I'll see you later! And after he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Fuyuhiko vanished from our sight. Oh, um, is it really gonna be okay to leave this to Monokuma? Damn it. It can't be helped. It's not like there was any other way. Perhaps. He's gonna be fine. He's probably gonna get better and come back to us again. <laughs> You're right. He's definitely gonna come back and talk a lot of smack as if nothing happened. Mm. Then all we could do is wait. <laughs> Why do we have to wait for him? I mean, he caused Mahiru's death, you know. However... However, we must put that aside since Peko has already been punished. Or else... We will not be able to advance forward. Fall, my tears. There are no second chances in life. We cannot return to what has already transpired. There is no way than to move forward. Like an arrow of light piercing through the darkness. <laughs> D damn it! I guess... Things aren't as exciting... Things aren't as exciting if a shit stirrer like him ain't around. I didn't realize it, but I was wishing for that too. I really. Sorry, what the fuck did that say? <laughs> I didn't realize it, but I was wishing for that too. From the bottom of my heart, I really wanted him to return. Fuyuhiko! I, I don't want anyone else to be a sacrifice. And so. The class trial ended, but we still can't see the real ending that we really wanted yet. When that finally arrives, what will have happened to us by then? No matter where I look, no matter what possibilities I look for, I can't see our future, not even a speck. As if we were all in a boat floating unreliably in a vast dark sea. We were just left there, alone. Only one word could explain our situation. Despair. We couldn't find a more suitable word than that. Uh-oh. You guys can see it, right? You can see this countdown, too? Yeah. Yeah, we can see it. Poor people are already gone. We took our time preparing the hope fragments, but now we're no longer able to gather them. Honestly, I'm not so sure anymore. Whether it's better if we let them leave this island, or if we shouldn't let them escape. For those kids, 
Which option is hope and which is despair? But I guess there's no time to hesitate. If this countdown reaches zero... We'll explode. That guy will probably take over our plan's final stage as well. What lies beyond that is the foul resurrection of the ultimate despair. And the continuation of the biggest, most awful, most, most tragic, tragic event, event in, in human, human history. history. Th that cannot be allowed. We must prevent that by any means necessary. Even if we have to pay the ultimate price, I will definitely prevent it by any means. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Hope. Chapter 2. Sea and Punishment, Sin and Coconuts. End. Surviving Students? 12. Donkey Mom. To be continued. Yippee! Rip, I would love to save. Thank you. Thank you. Dot, dot, dot. No one's here, right? <laughs> Man, I can totally see it now. Those idiots. I can't wait to see the surprise look on their dumb faces. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll probably be happy about it. They'll probably be very, very happy. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> Ding dong, bing bong. Uh, good morning. <laughs> Hope Speak Academy Ooh. School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Yeah. Good morning. Now then, let's show Sorry, some Monokuma. enthusiasm and make sure to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me. Sorry, Monokuma still actively skips his shit. Morning, huh? It sure is. In the end, I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I couldn't sleep. Involving himself in Peko's execution like that, suffering all those wounds, is he really going to live? And was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? But speaking of Monokuma's, look at all my Monokuma statues over there. Oh, sorry, what did that say? <laughs> Worry has consumed my heart. My body feels terribly burdened. But that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in bed. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. That's right. Just do it. I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first. Then we'll question Monokuma afterwards. I'm definitely going to find out if Fuyuhiko is safe or not. But unfortunately, we will not be finding out if Fuyuhiko is safe or not. Because... That's where we're going to end things today. I know, I know. You guys are so excited to find out what happens next. But it is not to be right now. <laughs> what did we think of this of this trial, you guys? Did you enjoy it? Was it crazy? Was it just everything you hoped for? Let me give you some, some mocha beats. Who should we raid today? Let's see who is on. GG's. I know I did a lot better this time than I did trial one. So there's that at least. Oh, uh, bro, my bones. Oh man, but yeah, I guess, I guess while we're while we're sitting here, we can have our after chats. Um, oh my goodness, I, <laughs> Buihiko and Peko, they they are like one of the het couples that I actually think are cute. You know? <laughs> like, do I be shipping Fuyuhiko with other people? Yes. But, like, you know. I actually think Peko and him are cute together. 
Like, it, all the, all the, <laughs> they're just two emotionally constipated people. It's like, if only they decided to properly talk with each other, we would not be in this situation right now. And that's the best part. It's like, you know, if we had just communicated, psh, we would have been set. Like, if Peko didn't kill anybody, nobody would have died. <laughs> But unfortunately, um, we are just simply too silly and goofy, and, you know, that's all there is to it, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, lots of name-calling and bullying and being sad. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot- it was a lot being sad. I- I forgot how much, like, that hurt last time I watched. <laughs> I was like- Oh, surely, you know, I've seen this before, you know, it's not gonna affect me as much, but I was still sitting there like, this is sad, what the fuck? I was like, this is, this is not, this is not what I wanted on my chill, uh, Monday night. I said, we've been, we've been having a wild, a wild past two days. Yesterday... Yesterday we had our, uh, whatever the fuck the Somnium Files was, uh, the being hit upside the head with wild shit, uh, and now today, <laughs> this. <laughs> what will tomorrow bring? You know, I, I would love to, I would love to find out. I would love to find out, yes. Um, but yeah, I'm too lazy, I'm not gonna lie, I'm too lazy to find somebody new so let's do another yuki raid oopsie daisy oh. let me see again i always feel so annoying when i raid people i'm like i know i've raided you before i'm sorry i'm sorry but anyways till next time uh next stream obviously is gonna be tomorrow i don't know what we're gonna play uh not dying or Impa, maybe Maybe we'll finally do Persona 4 and try to do that boss fight. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, till next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll see ya. Oh boy, oh boy.